Hi guys, welcome back and thank you for joining me today for another story time. My name is Deja and I work at the Oklahoma Wondertorium. Today, I will be reading, If You Give a Moose a Muffin. If You Give a Moose a Muffin by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. I wonder what'll Is happen if you give a moose a muffin. Yes, the illustrator. Uh oh. She's the one that made the pictures. The moose smelled it. If you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. Uh-oh, he's going to be a stuffed. <laughs> he is definitely going to be stuffed. But if you make him more, you'll have to go to the store to get some mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice that one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. What? So, he'll ask for some old socks. What do you think he's going to do with those old socks? Wear them. Yeah. He'll make sock puppets we thought he might wear them nope socks pu sock puppets it is when they're done he'll want to put on a puppet show he'll need some cardboard and paints then he'll ask you to help make the scenery i think he might be putting on a play what do you think When the scenery is finished, he'll get behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paint. Uh-oh, now he's made a big mess. So, he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then, he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. That's probably a good idea. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. If he asks for jam, what do you think is going to happen next? He will ask for more jam. More jam? Let's find out. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin to go with it. Oh, not again. The end. Wow, guys. That was a really great book. I can't believe that Moose wanted all of those different things. My favorite part was when he was going to put on that puppet show. What was your favorite part? I like that, too. I'd love to give a Moose a muffin, but... I don't think it's a very good idea. So I'll stick to just eating muffins by myself. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for this week. I hope to see you next week, same time, same place. Bye-bye, butterfly.